What's good, man? It's your boy Sage, and I'm back with another video. Yes, I can say I'm back now. It's my second video, my first video, I couldn't say that. But anyway, today, man, we got something slight, something simple, not, you know, nothing too crazy for y'all, man. We making a little baby 4PF type vibe cook up, man. So anyway, I got my man Solo Kid all the way from Germany on a Zoom call, man. Cooked up the melody, you know what I'm saying? Broke down the melody, how he made it, the plugins, and all of that. So anyway, I took his loop, put in the FL, cooked up to it. I'm gonna show y'all what I did, show y'all how I do it. Let's get straight into it. Yeah, it was good. Uh, so first I'm gonna preview the sample so y'all can hear what I'm gonna explain to you. Yeah, so that's it, that's it for the first part. Um, I used the contact piano, um, that's the noir pure uh piano i guess that's how it's called um i just i just first i just laid down the bass notes from e to d c b and back to c and d um yeah then i um put it up up an octave of the e chords like you can hear and i just um laid down some two-step notes uh i just laid down b and then e and then started again with b yeah, then I started to uh, add higher higher uh, notes to give it a more full full sound. Uh, so, as you all can hear, um, it's pretty full because if I uh, just deleted these two upper notes, uh, it would be not that exciting and not that full. That's why I added them. Yeah, and then I just um, put them uh, the notes down so um yeah it's not that boring and it's not that repetitive yeah and lastly i just randomized the velo velocities of each note yeah the second instrument i used for the first um section is uh, are these strings these are from the contact bank called emotional violin i used to slow and passionate strings yeah, and I laid down the string chords. Yeah, you have to make sure that uh, these are in key, just like the piano. And I made them go down just as a piano too. Um, and lastly, I had these vocals also from contact these are from the contact bank called ambient minimalism uh, i used the um, mirella vocal uh, phrases one uh, bank uh, it's in the melodics folder yeah, and this is how they, uh, they sound Yeah, so that's it. Then I passed on to the second section. Um, I used the same piano, but I simplified it a little bit more um, and added these top notes. They're also in the G major scale. Yeah, just to get a, to, just to give it a more a full feeling and. Yeah, just to stand out, um, then I added these strings. This is the same string preset, preset just an higher octave and different notes. Yeah, I also used to be vocals just like in the first uh, first uh, pre uh, preview sample. Um, yeah, and lastly, I just uh, repeated these two um, piano piano patterns. And for the mix, I just EQ'd, reverb um, some of these sounds if they weren't um, that good enough. Yeah, on the master, I uh, I put nothing because because I think it sounded good like that. 
Yeah, I know I'm gonna pass on to my boy Sage. All right, bet. So now I've already put that loop into FL. I chopped it how I want it, laid it how I want it. So let's go ahead and take a listen. So yeah, I pretty much get the whole idea of the loop. So without further ado, we can just go ahead and go right into the drums. I've already went ahead and pre-selected my sound just to save some time. So let's get right into it. I'm actually going to change this clap. I don't like the way it sounds, so I'm going to change it. And it's just a snare. I'm going to overlay the snare with a clap just to make the, you know, clap hit harder. For the open hat. And the drums, they sound kind of quiet, so I'm going to go into my Mingo Ha Ha kit. And this is a preset I use on pretty much every single beat. Like, every single beat I make, I put this preset on in every single beat. I promise, I swear to you not. And all this is, it's just, um, this is just a fruity saw clipper for the 808 and, you know, make the drums hit harder. Then the Parametric EQ2, and all he did was uh, turn it. I don't know what this one does. I just, I just know how it sounds. And this one's for the high, so this one is controls, like, you know, the hi-hats, claps, and all that good stuff. Makes it a little bit louder. So as you can hear, the drums sound just a little bit higher or a little bit louder, my fault. For the 808, man, please, man. For y'all dudes out there, man, please make sure your 808s are in pitch, man. Oh my goodness, I keep hearing dudes beats who the 808 just sound like I don't know, sound like a monkey banging on drums. So please make sure your 808s are in key, man. out of key so i heard that it was out of key another thing you can always do is pitch the 808 up and you know it helps get in the key
for the kick, man. All I do is copy the 808 pattern. I paste it into the kick. Then I press Alt K, which of course makes all the same pitch. And for a lot, for a little bit extra bounce, man, I just uh I like to offset the kick like this. So now I, bring, I pretty much have, you know, the base of the drums down. I'm going to add a, a sub bass to fill up the space in the loop. So all I do is I have this one right here. And uh, I made it into a box. So to cut off, you just turn the hold up and everything else down. I'm going to copy the 808 pattern. Go into pattern two. I'm going to paste it into here. And then I'm just going to make all the same length. And I'm going to delete all these extra notes. So I'm going to delete these, 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 and these right here. Then I'm going to do Control L again. And now let's hear it into the um, pattern. Let's fix that. Okay, so now that I have the bass sub with the loop, that's when the drums will come in. And man, pretty much, that's pretty much it, man. You never want to do too much to the drums, man. Sometimes you make it real complicated, but for this beat, I'm going to just keep it simple. And um, I'm gonna lay the beat out. So I'm gonna have the um, I'm gonna have the sub bass first, and then the drums coming after it. So now that the beat is pretty much laid out, I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the hook one last time at the end. And that's it for the layout. So now for the mixing process, uh, I channel route them. I select all these right here. And I channel route them starting from, you know, I pick any number, really, really, really just random. So let's go ahead and do this. Channel routing. And you want to go route uh, from this track. And sometimes, man, sometimes I mix it in here, so I, I I don't have to tweak anything in here. So now that I pretty much show y'all my whole process, um, well, we and Solo show y'all the whole process on how to make the loop, from everything from the loop to the drums to the mixing and everything. Um, that's pretty much it for the video, man. Something short, simple, nothing too crazy, man. My, my next video is going to really be something, something much better, but I'm going to keep it simple for this one. 
anyway man that's it for the, um this video if you like the video comment below like comment subscribe man tell me what y'all want to see next man i really need y'all guys ideas and uh feedback on these videos man because i'm just getting started i know there's a lot that i can improve on so anyway man that's it man i'm out <laughs> hey sage that's 4k